Hey, what's happening guys? Today we're taking a look at this guy right here, which is the Tech 06. And this was uh, <clears throat> sent out for our consideration by icstation.com. So a big thanks to them. And what this is, is a constant current electronic load um, battery capacity unit. And it, it seems to be a pretty nice unit here. It's powered by um, a mini USB connector and there's an STM microprocessor here. Very nice. It's got four connections, um, two for voltage and two for current. And the reason for that is, if you look here, we have the voltage section, which is just a little section here measuring the voltage. But if you go over here to the current side, you see these large traces going up through here. And this is what is controlling our current uh, drain coming through this, controlled by the microprocessor, and back to ground. So it seems to be a pretty sophisticated unit. Mm. Let's uh, power it up here. i got a mini USB cable. Okay. So we have here our amp hours. This is our actual measured voltage from the battery. This is our cutoff voltage. This is the rate at which we're going to drain the battery in milliamps, so a thousand milliamps, one amp. And this is the resistance of the battery. Now out of all of these, there are only two that we can change. This one, and we change it just by clicking on this rotary encoder here. And we can go all the way up to 12 volts. I'm going to leave it at 3 volts for this uh, lithium ion battery that I'm using. And we can change the discharge, and that goes up to 3.5 amps or down as low as 50 milliamps. We'll put it at, let's say, an amp and a half. All right, so I'm going to unplug that. Let's zoom out here a little bit. And I've got my counterfeit UltraFire battery here. We'll use some neodymiums and see if we can't connect some wires to it. So the gray and the orange are going to be my negative. Sorry if I'm not sounding uh, too sprightly today. I have had an unbelievable 24 hour period. You guys know I lost my dad earlier this year. So I go and I check on my mother every single day. And sometimes she doesn't answer the door. And every time she doesn't answer the door, I'm worried that she's fallen or something's happened to her. Up until yesterday, this hasn't been an issue. Yesterday, I found her on the floor. She had decided to climb up on a ladder and clean some kitchen cabinets. And she fell off the ladder. When she fell, she hit her arm and she has what's known as a proximal humerus fracture. Unfortunately, where it's at, the humerus is the upper bone of the arm that goes into the shoulder, and she broke it right under the shoulder ball. So she's going to have to have surgery to replace it. So I spent all night and most of today at the ER. So I'm just a little bit 
worn out. This is not going as easy as I had hoped getting all these little doohickeys to stay put. I appreciate your patience with me today. Like I said, it's a... Uh, my God, it's been something. If you're a religious type, I would appreciate your prayers for my mom. Ah, hold on. All right, hopefully we got this better under control. Anyway, as I was saying, if you are a religious type, I would appreciate your prayers for my mom. Her name is Rosemary, but everybody just calls her Rosie. So if you would uh, say a prayer for Rosie, I'm sure God will know which Rosie you're talking about. Now I lost my other magnets. Hold on. Okay, I think I got it all connected now. Jeez, Louise. You know, some days you just, uh, you just can't win, right? Let's plug her in here. Let's see if we get a voltage measuring. Yep, 4.03 volts. 3 volt cutoff. It remembers my 15 amp. Okay. There we go. Where did we go? I don't think it went. Okay, you need to double click it in the first position. And that starts it up. So she's running now. And you can see the milliamp um, hours that have been discharged from it. You can see our battery voltage. Again, there's our slot voltage. There's our set. And there is the eternal resistance of the battery. So we will let this roll and come back when it's done. These uh, knockoff ultra fire batteries say 9800 milliamp hours. Here's what I say place your bets now as to what you think the actual capacity of these batteries are. Okay? Because we just went from 3.87 to 3.25, and that battery was charged. And it just quit at 30 milliamps. There is not crap in these cheap knockoffs. So it knocked out 30 milliamp hours out of the battery. You can see the voltage is going back up now. Yeah. Anyway, this is a nice electronic load. I like it. The measurements seem to be quite accurate. I may have just hit the uh, jackpot for uh, my needs for the electronic load. Um, this is available, like I said, from icstation.com. And the price is around $10 US. That's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Uh, big thanks to all my patrons. Big thanks to you for watching. Big thanks to icstation.com for sending this out. Finally, I think I have an uh, electronic load that suits my needs. That's it. I'm out. Peace.